the purest art of competition, which is banter blitz. My name is Jan Gustafsson. I'm so glad you could join me live or on demand on this Wednesday afternoon or on any other day. What's going on? Hang on, I have to I have to do stuff. This is <laughs> me being tremendously prepared. In the world, I get very addicted to a game called but I'm not I I do not see a cure. The vampires just keep coming. Therefore not sure, not sure how to fix it. Not sure how to get anything done. I need a way out. So, vampire survivors. There's too many vampires. I can't win. Other than that, oh yeah, the Chicken Chester podcast is out. The fantastic new podcast featuring Peter Hein Nielsen, Laurent Fressinet, and myself. The first episode was launched today. It was awkward. It's not that good. Banter Blitz, the fantastic show where you can challenge me to a Blitz game. If you happen to be a Chess24 premium member, if you're not a premium member yet, you can become Do that. Challenge me. Let's play a lovely game. And there we go. Assuming anybody can challenge me. If you can't, I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll just talk about life. About my hair. Did I use too much wax? Did I use not enough wax? Those are the questions. Video is lagging. That's more great news. Why would the video be lagging? Hey, what's up, son? This is a new episode of Banter Blitz where I play against Chess24 premium users in fantastic, highly entertaining Blitz games. And people can challenge me, assuming they match, to log, or the new play zone allows them to log in then please challenge me. My username is Tupac Shachur. And there we can not only battle it out on the chessboard, but also talk about our dreams, our needs, our wishes, our desires. The Nimzo Indian, that, as far as I've been told, is the idea of the show. I'm not sure if you could see any of my ramblings from earlier on. But here we are playing playing a little game of Nimzo Indian. So bunch of options here. Castles, I would assume, is the main move. C takes D5. It's what I like to call not the main move. I'll castle now, better late than never. If he takes on c3, pawn takes, bishop takes, I should have some bishop takes, h7. Shenanigans. And if he doesn't take my... My plan would be something like bishop to c2, followed by queen to d3, and then... Capturing this pawn. I have some challenges coming in now. I read some complaints that people couldn't log into the new play zone. What, what worked for me was using my email address that I was signed up with instead of my username. And then all of a sudden I could make it there. So if you're, if you're having troubles, maybe that's, that's an idea. He goes bishop e7. He doesn't allow me to go for all my lethal plans what would what would people do here would they play h4 i'm not really an h4 type of guy which is a weakness but h4 to my mind they just take the pawn so queen e2 i was planning to go queen e4 but knight d7 it's probably a good way to to parry my my devious plan I'll still do it because it's threatening checkmate in one, one. And after knight f6, queen h4, 
I will hope to get in some triples like bishop g5 and then take on h7. That's that's the rough plan here. He stops he stops that plan. Put the bishop here. And once again, try to make something happen. It looks like bended like Karpov. So weird his name. Is very committed not to getting checkmated on h7, which unfortunately goes opposite to my plans, which were to checkmate him on h7. Therefore, I I'm not sure a compromise can be found here. H five C. He still he still really doesn't want to get checkmated. How do I increase the pressure? By not losing on time would be one way. Connecting to game? That's not good. Knight h7. I guess I have to go for the end game. Not sure if you've noticed, but I'm a tremendous chess player who just happens to sometimes struggle a little bit in the first game. After that, I'll be my usual amazing self. Bring the knight here, put put it into the middle of the board. That is the plan. Piano wants to know, I read on block another, si another site that says feed it away with en passant. Is this true, anyone? Do you get your, your chess notes exclusively on... On April 1st piano, that is my my theory. It sounds unlikely. I mean, everyone knows they will get rid of castles because it's weird to, you know, move the king towards the rook and then having the rook jump over it. But en passant? How could we play with en passant? Without en passant? How am I going to use all my great space advantages if pawns can just, you know, fly by left and right with no repercussions? Hmm. Carnicero is saying the chicken podcast was good. He expected more, more chicken topics, but still good. Thanks, Carnicero. Much appreciated. Episode one should be out. I, I don't know. The thing is, I'm such a big chess chicken that I don't feel in a position to mockingly make rankings of other chess chicken. But I think a rating list of like the five biggest chicken currently in chess would be would be a popular thing. Therefore, it has to happen one way or another. The problem is Laurent would probably be wrong about the rankings. But I guess we have we have to live with Laurent being wrong on the podcast. I think gonna be hard to fix hmm. Balash, my username is Tupac Shahur you can challenge me if you want to I'm trying to flag Mr. Karpov here, but I think it's 3 plus 2, which is something I usually realize very close to the end of the game when I'm in a bad position trying to win on time. And 3 plus 2 often, often ruins that plan. So I'm going to have to make proper chess moves again. Oh, like forks. He forked up. Great game by me. My name is Legion saying so jealous of German speakers because I can't understand your Shashule series. I'm not sure you want to be jealous of German speakers. Have you heard how German sounds 
Or have you heard Germans speaking English? It sounds very strange. Let's see who we shall play next. What about Pepter? Hope he needs a pep talk after the game. Mm. Pepter, are you with us? He's 2225 in this new play zone where ratings. Seem quite low. That is a very strong player. That's like that's like twenty eight hundred in old old play zone rating. He has a Ben Feingold picture. Is that Ben Feingold? I'll just assume it's Ben Feingold on his profile picture. And he's not here. Those are the facts we know about him. Kenners are saying, what side is Jan looking at when reading? It depends. It depends. I read. I don't know. The New York Times, believe it or not. Um, Die Zeit, German newspaper Die Zeit. Those are probably my most frequented sites. Then a bunch of ESPN, The Ringer, like basketball stuff. Sometimes I read chess news. I think this is it. The Exchange Slav. If you mean chats, I'm reading the Chess24 chat and the Twitch chat, mm. if anybody's anybody's awake there. We play this, the exchange slav to make sure people jump out of their seats. I would think if I was, let's say, Bill Burr or any other popular comedian trying to get the crowd going, I would have me playing the exchange slav. As, as a warm-up act. I don't understand why people don't see, don't see that potential. Neutrino saying, Jan, who do you think will win the candidates? And I don't know. I've done, I've of course studied the odds. This Ali Reza guy, he hasn't played for a half a year. He seems good though. Karana, he's quite experienced. And quite good. I think it's not just about the experienced, but also about the goodness. Then Mr. Mr. Ding Liren, if he makes it there. Also a good player. Then there is oof, this is a very exciting answer. I'll just list all the participants saying they're good players. This answer is brought to you by Peter. Either Leko or Swidler. There's Nepomnishi who won last time. I don't know. I don't know. I would guess, yeah. Ali Reza, Fabi and Ding are the favorites. Not sure in what order. I need a night fork. He might stop the night fork with like rook c8. That'd be super unfortunate. He doesn't. Did he calculate stuff or did you just miss knight b6? Feeling he might have calculated stuff. I didn't, but I'm greedy. I'll just go here. And he wants knight a8, queen a5 check or some nonsense. I could do a little zwischenzug. Like this. Oh, time is also. Time is ticking. Time is ticking away. You gotta live your life day by day. Ninety four, then if I castle he has ninety two, so I should think of something else to do. Probably get rid of this horsey first. Now things are looking looking good, no? 
have more rooks. He has more bishops. But according to my count, maybe I can equal the bishops count now. Rooks, rooks worth five, bishops work worth three. That's why you tune into into this program. So much to learn about chess. We tread the bishop. Thanks for the game, Pepter. I do know about the bathtub as well. That is true. Equality in bishops is good. Is that like is that like a complex church criticism or something? I'm not that smart. Or no, probably just me. That me trapping the bishop was good, because then my superiority in rooks would tell, right? What am I doing? Um, let's play against Alias Fighter. Alias. Hmm. Here we go again. The Nimzo. Good opening. D5, also great movement. F3, I still haven't looked at this. Stop playing lines that I still haven't looked at against me. Feels rude. Because you know, you know F3 Nimzo people. They will just happily blitz out their little moves now. While well, I'll be sitting here thinking, ugh, I should have looked at this. Castle E5 or Castle Knight H3 are what the cool kids play. But I've seen a bit of a D6 movement recently trying to to make it harder for white to go e5 or knight h3. Hmm. Knight h3 anyway, can't I can't I take here and then take? I know that's what you want to do, but this is a steep price to pay, is it not? Castle. Not sure if I should let, let him have this pawn. But it doesn't feel too relevant a pawn. I could go queen a5 then, or play something like knight h5. He doesn't want the pawn. I'll go knight h5 anyway. Bring the queen. See what happens. Bishop e3. Could still go queen h4. Bishop f2. Queen somewhere. Not sure what he wants to do. I guess queen d2 in long castles. We'll just develop another horsey. Bishop f2 directly. Feels slow. Okay, I could give a check to keep the king in the center. But I could also just take. Or play some devious move like queen g5. Does queen g5 make sense? Then if long castles, I could take on e2, which would be nice. If he goes rook g1, I'm not sure how much I've achieved. No? Okay, let's keep it simple. Target, target this guy. So long castles become somewhat less tempting. Twenty three ninety five does not seem to help. Queen e three. Now it's time to cash in either here or here. Let's maybe maybe try this. No, let's see four and take on b two. Looks pretty tempting. I now have what in chess we call a knight majority because of the extra number of knight units. 
that I have on the board. It's it's a good thing. Nah, nah, alias fighter. It's not gonna happen. Stop trying to make bishop g7 happen. It's not gonna happen. Does fight. But I have a plan. It's checkmate. Thanks for the game, Mr. Alias Fighter. The opening went wrong there. My hunch, Werner hunch, is that knight h3 is just bad here. After d6, you can play it after castles, but not after d6. I don't know, I would guess knight e2, bishop d3, bishop d2. All those look like look like normal moves. Oops, let's select another opponent. What about Kenners? Jimmy Kenners. He was knight c3. It's allowed. But after knight f6, e4, you haven't achieved that much other than playing whatever this is called. The is this this is the bishop's opening, right? Or is it the Vienna? It's something. I don't know. A3. I like your thinking, sir. I shall just play like you. Be like Kenners. To just keep copying all those moves? It feels feels wrong. I'll do something else. Ninety seven is probably not the best move in the position. But this is a reasonably natural journey for the knight to take. Not sure if in these circumstances. Not sure how, how this position is to be evaluated. It's weird. Do I take and play d5? Maybe. bring the knight or is that going in the wrong direction I think I'll prepare to bring the knight by rook g8 this does help my plan Kenners <laughs> now what? You can still castle, right? It's a bit tempting to spend tempo on a check to keep keep the king in the center. Maybe I'll do that. Now. DE is an option. Should be a little careful because my own king is not exactly hidden away on a8. Looks like the game is over. Or is it? Queen takes c2. King c2. I'll take. as 
well. And we get to the king. Hmm. Thanks for the game, Mr. Kenners. Monkey King 37. Hmm. D3. It's a legal move. I guess I'll just pin him. Probably D5 is still. Still the way to go. Bishop d2. Looks very logical. I've never looked at this setup. It doesn't feel very challenging though. I guess I should now try to keep this bishop. c6, rook e8 and play d5. Very much like the Rosalimo with colors reversed. How bad can it be? I have the center. My king is safe. E4, knight takes e4, I have d takes e4, and then I can take. So that can't be too bad. Knight e5. I will blunder knight takes e4. Eventually. No, I should move the bishop, because I'm too tempted to blunder knight takes e4. Like I really want to play knight c6. Then takes, takes, knight takes e4. Might very well work. take this pawn or do I get pieces out I won't be greedy for once not sure if there was anything wrong with taking but it looked like it's giving a lot of squares like takes takes rook takes and might be five bishop c3 well this position should be should be decent enough. I just need a scheme how to attack. Not sure this is the right scheme. Bishop c7, queen d6, bishop h3. Could be. Mm. Knight a4. Move might be a little chicken. I want to keep an eye on c6 in case I have to. Look after queen c2. So I can go bishop b8. I am not sure of the president of the chicken's chess club, but a proud member. So I shouldn't apologize for chicken moves. Bishop a6 does point out. That my move was not just chicken, but also somewhat silly. Now I'm going to have to either pretend it was all part of the plan and sacrifice material or admit my silliness. All right, silliness admitted. I'll say still part of the plan because now he weakened the g4 square. Queen c2, queen c4, queen c6. Doesn't work yet. I should do something active for once. Ugh. <clears throat> but what? What exactly?
well, let's call it a pawn sacrifice to bring the queen closer to the action. So I want something like queen f5, knight g4, queen f3, checkmate, not quite sure in what order, how to make it happen, but that is the idea. Hmm. Here, bring some more pieces for my lethal checkmating attack. Could have taken, but didn't want to. I want to continue my, my lethal checkmating attack. Looks like I'm getting somewhere, no? does look like I'm getting very close to this king. Thanks for the game, Monkey King. I would praise myself for all this deep maneuvering. Rook c8, rook d8, and queen e6. If I had anticipated any of his moves, I would praise myself for it even more. Thanks for the game. Great pleasure. Mr. Monkey King. Hmm. What do we have here? Goodman Q. Feed a master. Probably a big James Bond fan. Jordan Duba was saying repeatedly. Hello, Jan. Who came up with the idea to have Jorn in Team Magnus? PH, you or Magnus? I don't think anybody really wanted him there. He just showed up and then we got lost in his eyes. He's so handsome. No one could let him go again. So he just, just stuck around. I think that is how it went. He just appeared out of nowhere in a little Lithuanian village where we happen to have a training camp. And then he was too dreamy to ever, to ever leave our side, to ever have him leave our side again. Nicky Mullins. Nicky. It's a Nicky Minaj. If Nicky manages to make a move, I have a Minaj or do here. The, what's it called? Ayechin? Is that a good opening? I ask you, sir. Is this a good opening? I think it doesn't, doesn't equalize like move by move. The computers are not big fans. But it's not that easy to play. Hmm. For white. So I fully understand the occasional temptation to throw out c bishop e2 probably already wrong probably rook c1 was the way to go to throw out the good old the good old Ayechin. i have no clue about any of this go here i guess are you still in book nicky mullins knight on the rim Syllogismo is saying, what happens in the training camp other than chess? You're assuming there's chess happening there. Not that much, to be perfectly honest. Like, it's, it's a bunch of nerds sitting in different corners of some room with laptops. Sometimes there's 
vague communication. Usually, most of the nerds are wearing headphones, so there's not a lot of communication. And then every now and then, people interrupt their staring at laptops for playing a blitz game in very critical opening variations or talk to, to another nerd about chess positions. That's, that's how training camps work. Highly recommended, great fun for, for the whole family. One thing you shouldn't do is, especially in your first training camp, have a team member, I'm not gonna name names, but a French team member arrive sick and then infect everybody with the crushing, the crushing man flu, because it brings down the mood. For more details on, on all this, you can watch our fantastic, do I keep saying fantastic? Our video series on, um, whatever it's called, on the 2021 Carlson Epomnishi match, where we also described the training camps, how the team was assembled, all the fun that was at, in great detail with Peter Heine and Monsieur Laurent. I have a piece up, right? That's good. Do I think Magnus will reconsider? What? Are the days of 72 hour bantathons over? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Mr. Chess24 is up to. It would be strong to say I enjoyed those, but it's good. Good to do stuff once in a while. Challenge yourself. Um, it's a long time though, 72 hours. Like, I watched this movie um, 127 hours, which is even more time. And he was, I think, stuck between two rocks. So I'm not sure the situation is identical, but I would guess that is as close as one could come. I'm probably I shouldn't blame the 93, by the way. It's, I don't know. Opinions might differ, but my gut feeling is I probably shouldn't blame her. So I think that movie describes the experience of a 72 hour bantathon extremely well to take here Thank for saying Jan back on the English stream. Good to see. Yeah, I'm not sure how much German streaming there will be. So you have to listen to my lovely English cadence in the near near future on Chess24 to get all these unique insights. And I should stop blundering all my pieces. I still have some margin for error, but I'm quickly I'm quickly running out of them. Am I even a pawn up? I'm not even a pawn up. That's just shocking. So after bishop f7, I can't swap everything. Rook takes, that's extreme. Fantastic game. I'm sure it will make it into all the textbooks on how to play against the Ayechin and then convert the advantage without giving your opponent any 
breathing room whatsoever. Was an, an up and down <laughs> struggle, Nicky Mullins. Thanks for the game. Oh boy. All right. I have to focus. Troctor is wondering do you have juice boxes in training camp? I wish, I wish. Fluent water. And we have this. It's not, I don't know what brands of medicine you guys are used to. I usually take. This is probably German stuff. Oh, I have no clue. Paracetamol, ibuprofen, and aspirin. I mean, just in the morning for breakfast. When I'm sick, of course, I take rougher stuff. But we had something that looked similar to, to that from the packaging. But we weren't quite sure because we don't speak or read Lithuanian. So we just looked, went for stuff that looked like medicine. Tasted well. You could... You could mix it with water, so how bad can it have been? But no, no orange juice. Come on. Syllogismo so saying paracetamol makes me sleep. I don't need any paracetamol to be sleepy. I have little kids, and I have <laughs> vampire survivors. Um, it's a hard knock life. Both of my little, or not so little kids, they're like almost two and five and a half, have been at home for a couple of days with, um, how do you describe this politely? Not being able to keep their food. It's not fun. Poor kids. Not eating much. Even even wider than me these days. Can't go to kindergarten. Rough. Rough. And maybe maybe I should start reading the packaging of the medicine. Because in German I don't have the excuse we had. We had in Lithuania. Let's see too. I've seen this line. It looks nonsensical, but I'm sure it's recommended in whatever course and yeah I know I know Magnus played it but it does look very strange because we can grab this bishop or we can develop our own bishop not sure Roses Blue is saying is Jordan's greatest asset to team Magnus that he's very handsome it depends in what order you wanna you wanna rate his skills. Also, I'm. Nah, I'm not uncomfortable talking about Jordan's looks. I shouldn't lie. He's very very handsome, but he's also he's good at you know like chess openings, so he has that as well. I think it's it's a mix. It is a mix of the chess opening expertise, his outgoing persona. And <clears throat> what, what, what else was there? I think this is it. Oh, h5, silly move, inviting g5, g6. Sis pals, daring opening choice gets rewarded by me playing h5. Like, mm, like a very brazen risk taker. Jorn Dubov is asking, did Jorn and Dubov get along? Well, you would have to change your username if not, right? As far as I know, they are BFFs. C3. I have to pretend like all of this, allowing this pawn to G6 and getting checkmated, is part of some deep grandmasterly plan. Um, Sean Stevens is saying, are you on a Sixers fan? On a Sixers fan? Am I a Sixers fan? Not really. I just liked the the jacket. 
I don't like my position. What to do? Any German show recommendations? I don't know, I haven't seen much TV. Deutschland, what is it? 83, 86, 89, something like that. That show I enjoyed. Ruhwetter, that's probably a bit heavy. I don't know. What am I watching? Am I watching German shows? I don't think so. Last one laughing Germany. It's like last one laughing Canada, just with, with Germans. So you, you can imagine how fun that is. How to sell drugs online fast? I've never, I've never watched it. Don't tell, Tietze. But I've only heard good things. Are there any German comedy shows? I don't know. Do you guys see me laughing a lot? Oh, did I tell you? I'm not sure if this is something to brag about. Did I tell you I went to see Louis, Louis C.K. in Berlin? I probably did tell you. My, my excuse will be, my friend had tickets. Um, I love the opener, the Norwegian guy. I loved him so much that I can't recall his name anymore. But he was, he was absolutely hilarious. The Louis C.K. stuff was, was fine, but it didn't crack me up. Not sure how I, I stumbled upon this topic. Ah, because we're, we're debating comedy. I want time. Guys, whenever there's this debate about German comedy, Henning Wien gets brought up, which is odd, because no one in Germany knows Henning Wien, but he's the the only German comedian that that people outside Germany know. So it's like Henning Wien is like St. Pauli beer. It's also not a thing we know, but that seems to be... Is it called that? St. Pauli girl or something. That seems to be popular abroad. When in Germany Henning Wien gets gets mentioned, people ask from Henning Wien Redest du? German language jokes hilarious. Alright, let's play another game. Why must I lose those books? No, I'm not sure about the state of German comedy. From what I, I hear, there, there are always many people like considering to pursue a career in comedy, but then, then they're not sure about delivering the, the heavy jokes and they, yeah, hesitate for, for month and month and hope it will it will turn out well without doing anything and often by the time their comedy career and everything else has turned to shit once they make up their minds uh, um what is this i can take pawn no Lula Borg is in that list. He's only popular on Conan. Little industry secret. He's not really German. Flula. Sorry to reveal your secret on this great Bantablitz show. 
He speaks German. I guess he has a German, German mom maybe. But he's a, as American as apple pie. No one in the U.S. knows Henning Veen either. I think in the U.K. they know him. No, he's a, does he live in the U.K.? I'm not sure where this Henning Veen topic comes from usually. I would guess in the U.K. Hmm. B6. He's waiting for me to castle to play G5 or whatever he wants to do. The question is how much that topic worries me. I guess not that much anymore. Let's do it. See? I know my boy. To think again. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. Okay. Short break from the nonsense and think about chess position. After an A5, I should be good. To back to the nonsense. Hmm. Must attack bishop. All right, I'll go away. Don't you worry about a thing. Should be six, good move, I'll admit. Begrudgingly. Take, takes, takes, great. Probably not. Can I take now? I really want to take at some point. Let's see what happens. I certainly didn't. Oh, I'm also running out of time. I don't want to lose to this, this box. That was the trick. King C8 looked more challenging. Way to convert him. Hmm. Oh boy, what am I doing? Ugh, that was pathetic. Hey, hey, hey. 
Thanks for the game, Mr. Bokes. Exciting struggle. I think I had a good position, but then I stopped playing well. That's often the mistake I make. Once I get a good position, I start playing badly. And from experience, not that great strategy. Mm. Moxa Pope C5. I guess that's allowed. I don't know any theory. How bad can D5 be? I'm sure I've looked at this at some point. But still don't have a clue what goes where. Can you give a check? No, it's not a Warriors sweatshirt. It's the beloved Philadelphia 76ers. It's playing all these moves as if they were normal. Maybe they are. But White should be better, no? I have the center, all the space. He will do his usual. Knight c7, rook b8, let's prepare b5 for a thousand moves. But how good can be? Knight e5. Could try to keep some pieces on the board. Or I could just take. De putting the knight on d6, I find hard to believe. It's a nice square for the knight, but I still find it hard to believe that black is fine here. I could be wrong. But I, I also find that hard to believe. Five, you know what? Now that you played a five, I don't mind exchanging this bishop. You try to checkmate me. I try to win a pawn on the queen side. That's usually how these king in, king's Indians go. The good news is sometimes I win a pawn on the queen side, but often they still checkmate me then. So I might have to rethink my overall approach there. Deep thought here by Moxie Pope goes f3. Too deep for me. I'll take. Give me all your pieces. You don't have any attackers. That's a bit extreme. You need some pieces nearby to do this. I would think. Hmm. Seemed a little, to use one of my three English $5 words, seemed a little overzealous. takes I want to pin then win so German TV shows and I, I watch weird stuff I enjoy jerks the discounter Mapa That's why you tune into the Banter Blitz to get my advice on German German television. Am I into football? Not really. More of a basketball fan. Although recently I haven't even followed the NBA playoffs very closely, so I'm just I'm just not into anything. But enough about my sex life. It's maybe a bit too personal. 
Don't checkmate me. Still trying to checkmate me. He really is. You guys can tell as well, no? You know what? I'll make a business decision here. <laughs> this is proper chicken chess club play. <laughs> Locks of Pope. Are you aware? I still have 54 seconds and more rooks. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want you to curb the enthusiasm. I'm just saying, it might be. Misapplied energy. Tapris says, seems like, uh, like you're somewhat into chess, though. Not sure. It's, it's a love hate thing. But yeah. It is a beautiful game, is it not? Thanks for the game, Mox the Pope. Let's play Mr. Kappus. I can't see in the new players, and maybe there's a way, but not an easy one for me. If I already played with someone, when I accept their challenge, I can only see it afterwards. So, in general, I try to Take people I haven't played with yet with some preference. We're talking we're talking chess now. Um, but hard to keep track here. So I'll just go by my by my great memory. Can I take all the pawns? I think he might have mixed up the lines. No, there's a similar line where Black already played e6 in the in the Catalan, but I haven't played e6 yet. Therefore, I'm taking all the pawns. e5, queen a4, maybe h6. I'm not really worried about him giving this bishop. GF was a weird pre-move. EF is a much more natural move. Should at least have been considered. Still looks like my position. It's pretty decent. I'm even, I'm even gonna dare going B5. Opening up. This very long diagonal. What else is there to talk about, boys and girls? I'm I'm all talked out. There's nothing happening in my life. In in my chess. I did play in Bundesliga, but I think we covered that on the last episode. Nothing happened since the last episode. So it will be will be a hit podcast to do with Laurent Peter, because I know there's not much happening in their lives either. Okay. Oh yeah, Peter, have you have you heard from Magnus? Nah, okay then. Any rants about Fide politics? And he will have one. That's the podcast. Mm -hmm. What kind of food do you like? Oh, I'm a, on a strict diet. I only eat Chicken, garlic, pepper. Mm. Not because of any nutrition beliefs, but it's very easy to make. So you need chicken, or if you don't eat, eat chicken, you can use tofu or whatever protein source you want. 
then you use oyster sauce, soy sauce, fish sauce. We've debated this before. And news on the garbage saga you told last time. Not not a lot of news. I'm looking forward to, to the next neighborhood barbecue. But I don't know. I'm usually... I shy away from confrontation. But I did tell one of the neighbors that pulled me aside to let me know that we were on the list of suspects of the the garbage garbage suspects of having put trash into the wrong can wasn't us by the way but probably that's what that's what the suspects would say as well but after he pulled me aside and told me that we were on that list of suspects cuz diapers were found in one of the wrong garbage cans. I did let him know that I thought it was somewhat intrusive and strange to look through through garbage trying to detect who it belongs to. Also, it wasn't us. So now, with the information, I zeroed in on all the other potential users of that trash can with little kids, and I'm watching them like a hawk. And yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a very suburban German drama. But I guess most people, um, even in suburban Germany, felt at this point that there might be bigger things happening in the world than continuing to to do search who's not separating their garbage correctly. We. Of course, to to adjust to the garbage drama, uh, like I'm one of the world's leading scientists now on how to separate garbage. We we were okay before, like I don't know. I guess it's a common thing on the around the world, but I think it's also a very German specialty. Like you have three different trash cans or tr three different garbage bags, and then you put your garbage in the right the corresponding back and as as explained last time if you're suspected to have set a foot in the cor corresponding trash can if you're suspected to have set a foot wrong there there will be a strong outcry in your community of um, fellow trash can users let's play another trash can grandic hmm Nope, not going D5 and risking the scary, scary uh, Banco Gambit. Knight to C3. Now he has a choice. Bishop B4 looks like a good move. Knight C6 is the main move. To A6, trying to play some hedgehoggy setup, is possible. Um, should be seven. I guess is also possible. I'm wondering if e five is a good move here. G four. 3, 4, D5 is probably asking a bit much from the poor position. Nah, I'll just get the pieces out. Knight 
looks a bit transparent I'm trying to pin the knight but the queens should be somewhat misplaced here are you just making random moves sir Grandic you can tell me I'll keep getting the pieces out E5 now. Guess I'll take. He's confusing me. You're confusing me. Mr. Grundick. I don't know what to do with you. moving the queen around uh, I'm so confused let's bring the horsey I should have some night fork somewhere no Queen c5, b4, queen a7, knight c7, queen d7, f knight b6. There has to be some way to punish him for all this queen. Mm. All right, I'm up in the rook count, which is good. I should try to save save this knight. Night is saved. Whoa! <laughs> Good move. I did not I did not spot this was legal. One left, one right. Still more rooks. Tough to do a fun show chat. I'm trying, I'm trying. I have my own issues. Um, 
I blunder pieces in one move. That's one of my issues. Um, but yeah. It's rough times. There will be funnier shows or whatever. To my mind, funnier shows, I know. There's a lot of people that just want to learn something about chess and not be exposed to what I think might be funny. But yeah, with... I guess the general mood today and also things in the chat sorry if you guys are having troubles I'll pass it on but not that much I know or I can do about it sounds sounds surprising to me but yeah it makes it very hard to do to do a fun banter blitz show where we play some lovely games and and hang out. Trust me. I have my own problems. That was a weird speech. Um, can I can I somehow win this game? I was assuming I was going to win on time as usual. Then, as usual, I realized it's 3 plus 2. So, yeah. I never learn anything. Willy Brando is saying, what a crazy man. Who do you mean, Willy Brando? Wally Brando. What are the nicest places to live in Germany? I wouldn't know. Um, I'm, I haven't gone many a place since the pandemic. I live in Hamburg, which I think generally people consider a nice place to live. The weather is crappy but it's a two million city and it has a lot of green and you know all that all that stuff so that's good but i still somewhat think because people from hamburg in germany no one's patriotic about being german for especially right now very very understandable reasons but usually people are like proud of their city and in hamburg there, there is this notion that Hamburg is the most beautiful city in the world, which I think you can only keep up if you haven't been to that many other cities in the world. Other than that, I honestly don't know Germany that well. Like, I don't travel it for, for holidays or leisure. I've already, of course, traveled a lot because of chess playing Bundesliga and whatnot. I do really like Bonn Bonn, where I play for the local team. It's such a, such a beautiful, quiet place i'm assuming it's very very expensive but to go there to play weekends i generally enjoy and i like i like these cities in the south that have like a hundred thousand inhabitants in general i think a lot of those are very nice places dominic doesn't seem to be here like i don't know bayreuth bamberg würzburg heidelberg freiburg augsburg But yeah, I've never, I've, I've never lived there. Or I lived in Konstanz for a while. Also a nice place with around 100,000 people. So those places seem nice to me. Oh, hang on. But maybe people from those places are, are dreaming of living in the... Sorry, I clicked on something here. Apologies. O T T anon. I guess I clicked on board. Sorry, sorry. Who's this? A grandmaster. Two nine forty eight. That's like the highest rating I've ever seen. Maybe it's still an old play zone rating. Because in the new play zone. That seems tough to keep up. I guess he's not there either. No. Um, 
We're running out of opponents. Might as well end the show. But I started fashionably late. I should at least play one more game. Someone challenge me. You people. How many minutes are the challenges, Jan? Um, three, five. Three plus two. Three plus two I usually don't realize, so that's a good strategy. Because you might take all my pieces and then I might fail to win on time. We're playing against Yup. Yup, always there. When there's banters and blitzes. Can you go knight g4 here? Is that a good move? Let's try. Let's see what happens here. I just want to take this pawn, not gonna lie. Hmm. I have a feeling I've had this position before. Maybe against you, but I don't know. Queen h4, hg, bishop g4. Might not work yet. h5 also looks somewhat tempting. Let's try h5, see what happens. Or knight f2. So many options. Sorry, I know it's in some circles considered to be impolite to text during chess games. D3. What do I do? G4. He goes rook f2, which he probably wants to do anyway. So maybe I'll just push, push my h pawn first. Rook f2. I can go bishop e6 just to keep pushing the guy. Run. I'm threatening h2, but after rook f1, there's no direct win yet. So I should probably try to bring in some reinforcements like this rook. Y 
Yup's in trouble. And your presides he can't really take because of Queen takes G2. Thanks for the game, Yup. All right, boys and girls. Let's call it a night. And as usual, I feel like apologizing at the end of the show for the low energy, for the me not looking into the camera, but always weirdly looking down. It's because I'm reading, reading chats or looking at chess boards or because I... I'm afraid of eye contact, even with potential viewers. Thanks, thanks for making it through. There will be will be funner times in the Banter Blitz on Friday. The Champions Chess Tour is starting, so you can watch that on Good Old Chess Twenty Four or on the Twitch YouTube streams, whatnot. I'm sure with expert commentary. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll be doing something in German on my stream, but it's not on. It's not clear yet. Other than that, yeah. Go premium to a challenge next time. I don't know. With the voucher code Yanistan, you get 40% off. I have to read that off the screen because I, I can't remember. Mm, Yanistan. Check out. Oh boy, this is so low energy. Don't don't check out anything. <laughs> I'll I should I should get some food and more more caffeine. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry for that picture too. <laughs>